Hi everyone, welcome to Man Paintings Art for All. Today I am going to post 7 different art and craft tutorial videos. So without delay, let's start the work. In first video, I am taking a canvas board as a base. I am taking a thermocol sheet to cover all the corners of the board. I have given the curved shape to the thermocol and attaching it with the help of cello tapes. I have mixed wall put tea water and glue into the bowl and now pouring it over the canvas. I want to emerge my work so that's why I am using this solution over the board. Spread the mixture thoroughly and let it completely dry for a day. Now while it's completely dry I am removing the thermocol. Now apply glue on all the emerged sides. I have taken a thick layer of wall putty clay to make the border. Once you place the clay on the border, then give some small curves on it. The beautiful frame is ready, let it dry for a day. Now I am using a pencil to draw a tree and the branches. Once it's done, then apply glue on the tree trunk and uh, use wall putty clay to paste over it. Prepare thin clay layers to make the branches and use glue to paste these.
Prepare some small leaves and round shaped fruits all over the tree. Also prepare some texture over the tree's trunk using a sharp tool. It's completely dry now and it's time to paint it. I have taken the black acrylic paint to paint all over the canvas. I'm using single color to cover all the work. Once the painting is done, then spread the silver dust all over the tree, on the leaves, on branches and fruits. Here I am using a sponge to spread the dust. You can also do it with your fingers. And it's complete now. In my second video, I am using a small plastic bottle to prepare a jizo. Jizos are smiling llamas, very famous in Japan. So we will prepare it with the valputti. I have prepared a valputti dough. Now paste it over the bottle. I have mixed a little bit of white glue into valputti and water. Cover all sides of the bottle equally. Now I am using a clay ball for the heads of the bottle. Merge the head clay with the body clay using little bit of water. Repeat same with the other bottle. I have taken the cutter to prepare eyes and smile. Push the clay upwards near the eyes to prepare the eyebrows. Use your fingers to press it.
Now again make the eyes shape using cutter. Let the clay dry for the further steps. Now add clay layers one by one to prepare the folds of the dress. Add some clay to prepare the hands. Make fingers using the cutter. Now add the thick layers of the clay to prepare the outer clock of the zido. In next step, prepare small feet under the dress. Make little toes. And finally in clay work add long ears to it. For other Jeju, I am preparing a small cup, holding in his hands. First prepare the cup and then prepare the hands. Now repeat the same procedure as we have done with the first Jido, prepare his clock, feet, ears. Keep these little llamas dry for a day. Now I am applying grey color all over the llamas. I am also applying some silver dust all over the llamas to make these looks little bit shiny. I have used a zero number brush to prepare the eyes and smile with black paint.
For preparing the beer cups, I am using a waste cardboard as a base. Apply glue on both of the sides of the cardboard. Take Valputti dough and paste it over the cardboard. Apply some water on the hands to make the clay smooth. Give some tree like texture. Make a clay ball and paste it on the bottom of the tree. Settle it using your fingers and give some shapes on the face. Give some hair texture over the head. Add a clay layer to prepare the hands. Also prepare the texture on the hand. Place more clay over the hand and prepare another hand of it. Apply some glue over the head and place another head over it. Now repeat the same procedure as we had done with the bear. But this time the side of the face of this bear is changed. Press gently near the eyes and prepare the nose as well. I am using a small brush to prepare the nostrils. You can also use a pen. Give some texture and also prepare the hands of the second beer.
and now prepare the third beer on the top of the all beers this time prepare the hands and then we will prepare the face Now prepare the ears of every bear and also prepare the eyes. I am adding some extra clay to the lower spear to make its face heavy. Let it fully dry before we start to paint. I am starting with the light brown color over the tree's trunk. I have prepared this color by adding some yellow and white into the burn signer. Now I am giving some black touch ups near all the corners and the dark sides of the bear. some dark brown and white touch ups over the trunk black paint on the nose i'm taking burn sienna color to paint all the bear faces and the hands Some light brown colors near the nose to highlight it. And now using a black paint on the eyes. Also a small white dot on it.
in my next video i am preparing a painting for which i am using a white sheet as a base take a flat brush and poster colors start with yellow paint i am preparing a sun shape using a lemon yellow color now taking chrome yellow poster color near the lemon yellow color and merge these I have taken burnt sienna brown color for the all four parts of the sheet. Merge the brown color with the yellow color and make it smooth using some water. Now I am preparing some tree branches using black poster color. I have taken white poster color to highlight the branches. I am preparing a freehand painting. You can also draw first with the help of pencil and then use the brown color to prepare the lamp.
Use dark brown paint and black paint to darken the lamp and give some coloring effect over it. Make some lines using black paint and a thin brush. Prepare the chain of the lamp hanging on the tree. Make few more small branches using small brush. And now fill all the branches with the small flowers. Here I am using the red paint and I am preparing the flowers just simply just putting the brush on the branches. Finally highlight the flowers with the white paint and it's ready.
in this video i am preparing a beautiful love craft and for this i am taking a bowl and adding few spoons of pop in it now add some glue and water and mix it well I have taken a paper cup for this craft. I am marking the paper cup with the pencil till the part where I want to fill it with the POP solution. Fill the POP mixture till the mark. You can also use the wall putty mixture instead of plaster of Paris. Now fill 3 more cups with the same quantity of mixture. Once the mixture is poured equally in all the cups, add the artificial plants to these. I am adding few colorful flowers to the plants. I am using a thermocol sheet to prepare different alphabets. I am about to write L O V E. Uh, first, I will draw this on the sheet and cut this. Once all the alphabets are cut, now dip all these alphabets one by one into POP mixture. Apply mixture on the all sides of the alphabets properly. Now put all the alphabets one by one over the newspaper and wait till these get fully dry. Here I am making some texture effects on the alphabets.
the mixture inside all the cups are completely dry now and I am using a scissor to cut all the paper cups. The alphabets have also got dry and I'm going to paint this. I'm using the ultramarine blue color to paint all the alphabets. Painting is done and I'm using the glitter powder to spread over the alphabets. Uh, you can go for any sparkle or glitter dust. First apply glue over the alphabets. I'm applying on the front part only and then spread the glitters. Now I am using golden acrylic paint to paint over the base of the pots. The glue of the alphabets have got dry. I'm removing the extra glitter. Now take all the alphabets one by one and attach it over the popsicle sticks.
In this video, I am using waste cardboard pieces. I am pasting these three cardboards using white glue. Prepare wall putty mixture or you can also use POP mixture to give the base texture. Spread it all over the cardboard. Here I am using a scale. I am using a clay tool for giving the texture shapes. You can also use a fork or a comb or a bottle cap. Prepare the human figures using wall putty clay. Add more clay according to the shapes and merge these shapes in each other. Use some water and make thin layer of clay for hands and the legs. Prepare single figures on the side cardboards.
the clay work dry for a day and use acrylic paint I'm using orange color and uh, also adding some red in it Follow it with lemon yellow color and white color. Fill golden paint in all the texture shapes at the background. I am taking black paint for the figures, prepare all the figures with the same color. In this video, I am going to prepare a small llama holding a little planter. So first I will prepare the planter for which I am using the POP powder. I have added some glue and mixing the water in it. The mixture is ready now I am having a paper cup and also I am going to cut the clothes into small pieces and I am using these rags for making the planter. Dip these rags one by one into the mixture and keep it over the cup. Cover the cup completely with the rags and use two or three layers of these rags over the cup.
when the planter is fully dry remove the cup prepare wall putty dough by mixing water and some fabricol in it and now uh, use this for preparing the llama I have taken some clay and first I am preparing the clothes and the legs of the llama. Take some drops of water and make the dough smooth. I am giving a small curve near the back of the llama. Now adding a small leg near it and give some curves to it. Use a tool to prepare the folds of the cloth. Remove extra clay from it. Now I am adding an arm over the planter near the llama's body. Add a little hand near the sleeve. Make little fingers using the clay tool. I am using a silver foil and making a roll of it. I will use this under the base of the head. Cover it with the first layer of the clay and let it dry. When the head got dry, get another layer of clay over it and prepare cheeks and face shape of it. Now prepare eyes and a little smile using the clay tool. I 
I have prepared a tiny nose and now I'm using the hairpin to prepare the nostrils. When the face get fully dry, attach it over the planter near the body and also Add some extra layer of clay to hold the head on it. Now our little llama is ready and in next step I will paint this. I am using a dark brown color and I have added little bit of green in it and I am using it over the planter. I am using burnt china color over the face, hands and feet of Lama. I have mixed some green into the white color and using this light green color over the dress of the llama.
our little planter is ready now add a plant to it here i am using a plastic plant but you can also use an original plant If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. Mom Paintings Art for All.